Hey guys, Vognir, and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, today, we've got an interesting one. We're going to be going through all EFL leagues, the championship to League 2, and we're going to be predicting the team that are getting promoted through the playoffs. There's a lot to speak of. You looking forward to it? Hey, it's massive, isn't it? I've just had my vaccination, and I'm all ready. And I tell you what, we're going to start off with League 2. We've got two different games to go through. Let's crack straight into it. But first, I'm going to set the like target today. You EFL fans, you've got to produce an absolute massive, 14,000 likes. Let's get it done. And if we do, then maybe we'll live stream the championship playoff final. Wow, that is a very big shout. And the first game is going to be Morecambe against Tranmere Rovers, fourth against seventh. Now, Morecambe, Theo, won four of the last five games. Great form. The only team they lost to, Bolton Wanderers. And they were one point behind us, weren't they, Theo? The ex-Bolton manager, Keith Hill, is now the ex-Tranmere manager after being the last man down in the sack race. What were your thoughts on the timing of that, Dad? Very, very strange. I have no idea what went on internally there, Theo. But the thing about Morecambe, I struggle to think of them as a league team. Because when I was a kid growing up in Lancaster, they were always non-league. Yeah. But they've got a couple of players who... I've looked out for Theo. First one is Carlos Mendes Gomez. He's a right winger from Spain. 15 goals and 5 assists this season. Right. What I love about this guy Theo, Atletico Madrid under 19s, then he went to West Didsbury, then he went to Morecambe. What Brilliant. a career that is. He's been everywhere. Do you reckon he's going to score the winner, send Morecambe through? He, he could Theo. And the other lad to look out for is Cole Stockton, the centre yeah. forward. 13 goals and 3 assists this season. Now, he was at Tramia for 8 years, Theo. Oh, there you go. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm just going back to this Keith Hill situation. I can't believe they've sacked the gaffer yeah. just before the playoffs. This guy is built up to the playoffs, and I know the form is a little bit dodgy come the end of the season. But the question is, will it fire up the players, or will the players be a little bit demotivated, maybe a little bit lost, you know, without their gaffer they've had throughout the season? What do you reckon? Do you know what? I think it might work in their favour for no obvious what? reason. Now, I predicted Tramia to win the league. They're a very proud club and the fans had high expectations. And you know what, Theo? They've got a couple of players I've got to point out. Yeah. James Vaughan. He's 32 yeah. years old now. 18 goals and three assists this season. Mm. This is a journeyman. He's played for Everton, at Norwich and Sunderland. And the other one, Theo, Liam Feeney. Do you remember him? I do. I also remember Jay Spearing, who's the captain, an ex-Liverpool and Bolton player, playing for Tranmere in the playoffs, but I don't know if these guys are going to gel with their backup manager. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to work. If you look at the form, Morecambe, they've won the last four games out of five. Yes. Only team they lost to was Bolton, and I like Morecambe because they allowed us to get an automatic spot <laughs> so we didn't have to worry about this playoff stuff, okay? I'm telling you right now, I genuinely believe my conclusion to this game over two legs, Morecambe are going to win it because they're on better recent form, and I guess you disagree with me. I think Tramia are going to win it. I think Jay Spearing, Liam Feeney, some of the older lads will yeah. get together and really get into that dressing room and make sure they win it. Yeah, fair play. We disagree on the first one. It's going to be interesting. Let us know what you reckon in the comments down below. Tramia fans, let us know if you think you're going to do better or worse without Keith Hill. I think it's going to be Aaron Wildig with the winner. Remember, I called that. And the next game is Newport County against Forest Green Rovers. It's yep. the Welsh lads against the Vegans. Now, Newport County this season, defensively very solid and haven't yep. lost in the last five games, have they, Theo? And they both ended on 73 points. Goal difference was wasn't important because both teams ended up qualifying for playoffs. But what separated them was exactly what you said there, Dad, the Newport defence. What do you reckon it'll come down to today? Who's going through? Well, it's a hard one to call this because Forest Green over the last three games have not got a win. And sometimes yeah. it's about what happened last week or the week before. Also, Theo, I look at that Forest Green team and I see Jamil Matt. Now, this lad has got 16 goals and three assists this season. And he was a free transfer from Newport County, Theo. And he's the same player who had a masterclass the last time they went up to Rodney Parade. Yeah. The vegans turned Newport County into dead meat. And it was a Jamal Matt <laughs> masterclass. And he is someone you should definitely look out for in that playoff knockout game. He's the striker. He'll be looking to score, won't he? Absolutely, Theo. And another link between the two teams is Aaron. Aaron Collins, 23-year-old yeah. centre forward, seven assists and ten goals this season. He came through the Newport County youth system, so there might be a bit of beef there behind the scenes. Dad, 
and his brother plays for Newport County. Yes. And he also grew up in Newport. Yeah. You know, there's so many links to this game and it just seems like he's going to turn up. And actually, it brings me nicely onto my conclusion. I just reckon over the two legs, Aaron Collins is going to get a winner to send the vegans through. <laughs> the Welshman to knock out the Welsh side. I've called it here first. That is a very big shout and I'm going to disagree. Newport County are going through to the final. We disagree again. I know, I know. This is brilliant. It's all I for discussion. It. I want to see what you guys think in the comments down below. But we disagree on both League 2 games. But who's winning the final, Theo? Go on, you say it. Drum well, roll. Well, we have a different final. That's the problem. Yeah, we have then. a different yeah, final. Right. You... But for me, I reckon <laughs> Morecambe, your local side. Hey. Well, near enough to Lancaster. Yeah. Granny Chris will be delighted. Morecambe to go through to League One. That is an enormous shout. I reckon it's going to be Tramia Rovers against Newport County. And the winner will be the Scousers. <laughs> Tramia Rovers. Like you just annoyed them by calling them <laughs> Scousers, though. They it's just a disliked joke. it. Anyway, let's move on to League One. And now for Blackpool of Lancashire against Oxford United of Oxfordshire, third Ooh. against sixth. Now, Blackpool this season, Theo, yeah. been pretty good defensively, only conceded 37 goals, and they've won four of the last five, mm. as have Oxford. What's going to happen here, lad? It's a game that could go either way. You look at the Oxford team, it's probably slightly better. Yeah. I think they've got James Henry, who ex Bolton, I know what he can do. Yes. He's a creator, he's a bit of a goal scorer. They've got a great, and also they've got a striker who's been banging in the goals called Matty Taylor. Yes. You know, he's been scoring loads of goals recently, and, and with that home leg, first of all being at Oxford United, I reckon he'll score. But over the two legs, I don't know which way this will go. What do you reckon? I reckon that Matty Taylor is worth a mention, Theo, because yeah. he's got 18 goals and five assists. This is a lad who played for Bristol City and Bristol Rovers, but let's not forget. He's not, he's not quite good, the old Matty Taylor, though. And he's not, Bolton is legend. he? Bolton but legend. let's not forget Jerry Yeager. Yates from mm. Blackpool, 20 goals and six assists for the yeah. lad who used to play for Rotherham. So they've both got goal scorers there. I think this could be close. Just to jump straight to my conclusion, I yeah. mean, Blackpool, it's been an incredible story with the manager coming in and just giving them a breath of fresh air ever since the Oysters. And, yeah. you know, they really turned around that club. The story at Blackpool <laughs> FC is amazing. If they were to make it through the playoffs, it yeah. would be an incredible kind of peak to their story to make it to the championship. Seriously, the turnaround. The one man I think they've got a bit of faith in, a bit, a little bit of hope, okay? Yeah. I, I just get the feeling, I'm not going to name the player, but no. I get the feeling he's going to be at the back post in the second leg, right at the end, to get the winner. And that man is Gary Medine. Oh, goal, goal machine. machine. Gary, Gary Medine. Medine. Goal machine. He's a Bolton <laughs> legend, and I genuinely believe he loves a big game. I, I, I can honestly see that guy scoring. Absolutely. It's funny when you mentioned Carl Oyston. I went to school with him, but I think we should move swiftly on, Theo. But overall, you know what? I think Blackpool will win this tie. I think there might be really? goals. Really? Blackpool going through to the final. Can I just mention, Oxford United, probably the better team. Yeah. More on form, uh, better quality players. They probably will go through. But because of Gary Medine, <laughs> I've gone with Blackpool. I agree with you on the one that is against the odds. Brilliant. Let's move on to the second other playoff game in League One. Now for fourth against fifth, Sunderland against Lincoln yep. City. Now these two teams are not in form. They've both won one of the last five. And Sunderland this season, they are the draw specialist. 17 draws. Yep. If four or five of those had been wins, they'd gone up automatically, wouldn't they, Theo? Yeah, and another thing I've realised, Lincoln are shocking at home. But they're the <laughs> best in the league away. But you could say a similar thing for Sunderland sometimes. Which way is it going to go? Well, I'll tell you what. A few players to watch out for. Yeah. Charlie White. Yeah, great player. Striker that Bolton nearly signed at one point. Absolutely banging them in for Sunderland. Another player we've got to mention is Aidan McGeady. Absolutely, I mean, Theo. Now, this lad, 14 assists and four goals this season. Yeah. Republic of Ireland International. He played for Celtic and Spartak Moscow, Theo. But we can't ignore what Lincoln have. Yeah. George Grant. He's yes. been an incredible midfielder, probably the best in League One this season. Yes. He deserves a mention. If he turns up, Sunderland could have a problem. Well, but you know what? Charlie White, 25 goals. I yeah. think that could be the difference of all the players we've mentioned and because of all that Sunderland going through to the final Dad Sunderland haven't been on great form though no. they haven't had a clean sheet in 10 games wow not once both teams are in similar form they both won one from the last five I really can't call that which way this is going to go but to conclude I'm just going to back the Mackhams I think they've got yeah. more quality in their side and they'll make it to the playoff final like they did last time and I was at the playoff final against Charlton do you remember that? absolutely well Theo I'm going to use a bit of scientific logic here yeah go it's on. a bit statistical mathematical Blackpool have got their tower Lincoln have got their cathedral Oxford have got their university apparently 
Sunderland have got their football club. This means most to the people of Sunderland. That's why they're going up to the championship. What? To win it? What? To, to win it in the... They're going to win the final and go up to the championship. We agree on this one. So we both agree that the final will be Blackpool Sunderland. Yes, yes. So you reckon Sunderland are going to win at Wembley? Yes. It's just because of that footballing DNA. That makes no sense. I know that. They're Dad, just going to win it. I, I'm just going to agree with you. I'm going to back Sunderland because their team is much better. And you know what? When you've got Charlie White yeah. and hopefully Aidan McGeady on form, nothing should really stop them. And do you know what? Like Sunderland, they deserve to be back in the championship like they they've kept in league one for too long and you know if i see them go up it'd be nice it'd be nice for the story you know for the netflix series and now we're going over to the championship aren't we theo we are. brentford against bournemouth third again sixth now brentford 13 points from the last five games top scorers in the league with 79 goals surely brentford they only lost seven times all season theo yeah they've got to go to they the they missed out on automatics dog i down. know they I know. always miss out on automatics they're gonna do it the hard way again and do you know why it's because they drew i think 17 games just turn some of those into wins dad when you've got a striker with 41 contributions in a season oh. you absolutely need to get promoted ivan tony what a bargain you know he used to play for newcastle theo and he they... was seen as a flop i know he was that is amazing yeah. but five million quid from Peterborough. What a bargain. I know. And he's kind of got a story where you know, it's a bit of a shout out to all the players. Like people didn't rate him. I think he was a Wigan at one point as well. Um, and you know, he just wasn't expected to be as good as he is. Newcastle yes. didn't rate him. So yeah, it's great that he's turned around his career and absolutely smashed it. He'll be in the Premier League where the Brentford win the playoffs or if they lose the playoffs. That's a fact. A couple of other players I want to mention from the Brentford team, Theo. The first one is Brian Mbwemo. Okay. Ten assists and eight goals this season. And also Sergi Canos. Eight right. assists and nine goals. Now, this is a lad who used to be part of the Barcelona and Liverpool Youth Academies. He's a player, isn't he? He's had a breakthrough season. Him and Tony have linked up brilliantly. But you know what? Bournemouth have some ballers too. They've got Stanislas, Solanke's back on form, and Danuma. Them three have really been getting in the contributions for the Cherries. So let's not write them off. But the thing about Bournemouth, Theo, they've scored 73 goals all season, but they've lost the last three games, they haven't have. they? It's funny because if you look at the form from the last 10 games, Bournemouth just edge Brentford. Yeah. But in the last three games, it's been appalling for Bournemouth. They've lost all three. Brentford have won the last four games. And because of that, Brentford are favourites to beat them. But what do you reckon? Oh my goodness. You know what? Overall, I think Brentford will just about get Seriously? it. Seriously? They were 10 points ahead of Bournemouth this season. It's going to be close. Yeah, well, listen. But Brentford have lost so few games. Yeah, Brentford haven't lost a game in 12. Yes. Okay, this is the best time for them to go into this. And you know what? I think it's going to be a Canos and Ivan Tony masterclass. The bees are going to the final. So we agree on the first yes. championship playoff game. Let's get over to the second one now and see who Brentford will be meeting in the final. And now for Swansea City of Wales against Barnsley of Yorkshire. Fourth against fifth. Now Swansea, they've had a good season, very yep. tight defensively. But only won one of the last five games, haven't they, Theo? What's going to happen in this game? Tough one to call. Tough yeah. one to call. Because if you look at the form of the both recent teams, it's a, li it's a little bit dodgy for Swansea, isn't it? It is. Barnsley have been all right, but they're a little bit hit and miss at times. Alex Mauer on the last game had a red card. It was rescinded. They won that game. It was Wickham, though. But it did get rescinded. So they do have Alex Mauer, their captain and main player, yes, yes. for the games against Swansea, which is huge. But if you look at how they've done this season... Swansea have done the double. They've yeah. got six points over Barnsley. Jamal Lowe has scored in both. He's a really exciting player. He loves going to Wembley. I remember when he was playing for, who was it? Portsmouth, and he scored a great goal against Sunderland. I think it was a Checker Trade Trophy final last year. He's good at Wembley. So if they do get to the final, Jamal Lowe could be the man. I reckon Lowe has had a very good season, yeah. Theo. We look at his stats, and uh, he's got 14 goals. The Jamaican international, yeah. ex-Portsmouth, ex-Wigan. But I also want to mention Andre Ayew. 16 goals, 4 assists for the guy. An international. This is a lad who used to play for Marseille and West Ham. We all know the name. Yeah, so and some the thing good players is, there. Swansea have a bit more of a goal score. I know they've got Corley Woodrow, but he hasn't got as many as Andre Ali this season. Yes. The thing is, if you look at quality, you probably back Swansea. Yes. But if you look at momentum and how much they may want it, you've yeah. got to look at that Barnsley side. They've got a striker in Daryl Dyke, who yes. recently has been absolutely unbelievable, hasn't he? They've also got Mars Anderson. Now, he's a Danish young lad. He's a centre-back. One of the hardest, best centre-backs in play. the league. Six foot five. If you look at form, though, Dad, Swansea are without a win in the last five. And they're yeah. also the first to concede in all five of their last five games. That is a worrying statistic. And it's actually what's putting Barnsley as the favourite coming into this game. And you know what's crazy? 
They've faced each other 12 times. Yes. Guess how many times Swansea have lost to Barnsley? Two. Zero. Wow. They have never been beaten by Barnsley in 12 head-to-head -head fixtures. So the favourites are Barnsley, but they never beat them. It's a crazy game. It is a crazy game, but I love the Barnsley story. New owners come in. It's all about money ball. Yeah. It's all about taking a little bit of money and letting it go a long way. And do you know what? Football means so much to that former mining town of Barnsley. They're yep. going to win this and get to the final. Seriously? Yes, they are. It's funny you say that because I'm backing... I'm back in Barnsley as well. I think wow. Jamal Lowe will score, but Daryl Dyke, he's a beast. You know, they've got Alex Marrow for the yeah. big game. They've got Helic at the back. I think there's enough in this team and the momentum and the youth to knock out Swansea. I really do, Dad. So the final, we agree, yeah. is going to be Brentford versus Barnsley. Yeah. That would be stream worthy. And you know what? The winner of that will begin with B. It is Brentford who are going oh. to the Premiership. Okay, I'm going to be different and say Barnsley. Whoa. Because wow. Brentford are the favourites. They have the quality. They're expected to go up. But one thing Barnsley have is a bit of fight, a bit of yeah. fire in them, in their belly. Yeah. And they have Daryl Dyke, who's been incredible. I keep mentioning him, but he's that good. I'm telling you, if it is a Brentford-Barnsley Championship playoff final, it's going to be insane. The quality on that field yeah, yeah. Is, is amazing. And if Barnsley make it to the Premier League, <laughs> could you imagine that? Imagine the limbs, guys. Thank you for watching till the end. Yeah. We want to know what you think. Comment down below the winner of the playoffs in the Championship League 1, League 2 and we'll compare everybody's answer to see who gets the most right. <laughs> Dog Dad calls it a lottery and we're probably going to get yeah, this wrong, aren't we? Oh yeah, absolutely. That's part of the fun, isn't it? It's a bit of the fun. Hey, listen, it's all about discussion. Let's see what you guys think. Two legs and a Wembley final. If you've got tickets to any of the games, shout out to you. Enjoy football with fans. It's how it should be. Like and subscribe. 14k likes and maybe we'll do a few playoff streams and apart from that it's been a pleasure subscribe for more with notifications on for following the playoffs in a bit guys see ya take care